Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Mr. Chu here. So this evening um, for dinner, we'll cook some Guyanese Chinese fried rice and some Chinese fried chicken. Now someone subscribed, I think two months or so ago that um, they want me to cook some Guyanese Chinese fried rice. So I'm gonna do one of our my our tradition where my father cook. So um, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please subscribe, view, like, make a, make send me a comment, and um, we start the process. So here, what I do: Chinese chicken that you see in the restaurant, everybody do it different. So my dad normally steam the chicken, steam it before fry it. So we steam it, and this is a Chinese spice. Just Chinese spice and salt and water, and I steam this chicken. I, easier if you could cut it in half and you steam it, right? So what I'm gonna do here, just finished steaming because Akash was getting his stuff ready. I'm gonna baste this a little bit and then I'm gonna deep fry it later on in the wok. Now China, a lot of Chinese, um, old tradition Chinese, they use their wok to deep fry them. You get a better fry in that faster. So we're gonna do that a little later, but for now, I wanna steam the rice for the fire rice. So what I'm gonna do, I guys, I, I, you know, we could use a steam pot, but I'd like to use my um, my regular karahi pot to, um, to steam my rice. I don't like the steamer. So, I mentioned to you I make my nice Chinese sauce for fried rice and lo mein, right? So this is it. I have like a few spice inside and my own little ingredients. But very soon, I'll have some time, I'm gonna write my ingredients. When you subscribe, you're gonna find it at the bottom. I'll send it out to you. As long as you subscribe and you're a subscriber to us, I'm gonna share some ingredients with you so we don't have to put it in a book. You can have it. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of um, We're gonna do a little bit of butter. So today I'm not using jasmine rice because back home in Guyana we don't we never know what jasmine rice is. We know what white rice is. You know, regular white rice, long grain. So I'm gonna use that today because I wanna make it original. So it's washed, I washed it nice. And um, I'm gonna That burn there. All right, all in the game. So I'm gonna stir this. But before I stir this, this is my sauce, huh? I put some of my my Chinese sauce. Um. You can pick this sauce up at the store. Yeah. 
This is the sweet soy. Well, you can make your own sweet soy if you want to. If, you, if you're in the mood, you can make your own sweet soy sauce. And this is some regular soy sauce, right? So you want to turn the fire down very low. So give me a few minutes and I'll show you how I add the water. Let me just get some other stuff together. So guys, I was um, hotting my water, hot it up so you have a better um, boil, so I'm going to add this water in it. No, I can't put a lot of water because it's going to make the rice too soft, so I put like one inch too hot I can't test it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna test it with yeah I do one inch of water in my rice now you can the, the, the best thing cooking it in a pot steam it in a pot like this you can add more water if you need but you can extract if you put too much right you see i'm taking out some of the uh, the spice from my sauce so when you eat you won't you won't you won't bother you too much So I'm gonna take the fire up, take my cover, wow. seal it up. I'm gonna check it back in 15 minutes. So I'll show you when the rice is finished and then we're gonna go to my ingredients, some of my ingredients to fry the rice. All right, so I'll be right back with you in a few. Okay, guys, um, well, I'm still setting up my area for my work in my kitchen. But as I'm outside, out of my kitchen in front, this is my outdoor kitchen. I'm still working on it to finish it. But I set up my work, my work with my um, my oil inside. So I'm gonna let this oil hot. This is my steamed Chinese chicken, and this is a a mixture to go over it, just to hold it together. This is flour, black pepper, some garlic powder, and onion powder, a little bit of salt and I mix it up you will see the seasoning in the flour I'm gonna just powder a light coat over it as soon as the oil hot I'm gonna dip it in there and let it fry, fry nice and um, not too brown so 
you know, I don't, I don't want to go bring out my deep fryer. I don't want to bring out my deep fryer now and all these things now. So I fry it in the wok. And I'm gonna get you guys. Show you guys how I'm gonna put it in the fry. So let this oil hot. And then I'm gonna back it in a few. Guys, this is the most craziest thing with one of my fruit trees. Sugar apple started blossom in May, March, March, and then February, March it started blossom. So you get sugar apple by May, by June, June, July, August, <coughs> you get sugar apple, right? For some reason, I'm so lucky that this is winter, it's January, and look, look at this. This is my sugar apple tree. It's about to throw leaf off in the winter, right? Look at this. I have a sugar apple to pick in a couple days. In winter. This is the craziest thing. I don't know how this one left. But this is here. I want to share it with you guys. Look. So in a couple days, I'm going to pick that. And if you look at this. My gooseberry tree blossom in winter. See? Blossom. So I'm getting fruit all through the winter. You look on the other side, my mango tree is gonna be blossom. Anytime now my mango is gonna blossom. Look at this. Winter. It's winter, huh? I have ghost pepper. My pepper tree, my my um, orange tree blossom. It's crazy. I never see this. I don't know if it's me or it normally happened, but for some reason they're ready to bear. So. Here we are. So this oil, this oil is um, kind of ready there. So what this guys? Right. Very thin inside. Inside. So I'm gonna do two, two half, which is a whole chicken at a time. This is gonna just fry real nice. So cooking Chinese food tradition, especially Guyanese style Chinese chicken and rice. It takes some time, you know, if you wanna cook it right and have a good flavor of it. So. My food, no MSG. You have to remember this, folks. Guys, when you go to the Chinese restaurant, you can never have the same taste at home. Why? They cook with a lot of uh, MSG, Ajinomoto, which is MSG, and um, different things they put, different um, from chicken fat and all these things. Now, when we cook home, the food will never taste the same. Our food is more healthy. And even tastes better because we don't use all those things. It's healthy food. So if you're looking for that taste in a home cooked Chinese food, Chinese people don't eat what they, they don't eat what they sell. They cook different food for them to eat. So learn this. I grew up around, I know my father Chinese, my grandfather, restaurant, bakery, and I'm telling you this. It's a different process for them when they eat it, you know?
have a deep fryer home, you can put it in the deep fryer, you can fry it. If you don't, you could, you could fry it in a pot, karahi or a wok, you get the same texture and the same taste as long as you put the correct ingredient. Just remember, Chinese chicken, Chinese spice, salt and black pepper. Inside of here, onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper, some salt and flour. That's it. So I'm gonna fry these chickens and I'm gonna get back to you when I finish and show you how it fries and how it goes. So, so far, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Now, you know Guyanese Chinese chicken, they have a little sauce that they put up top. Look at this. Woo! Nice, huh? Let me put this before I show you something. I was saying, tiny chicken, they have a little sauce that you normally put up top, okay? How you make that sauce? Everybody make it different. So what I'm do I have the next one? Take some of this oil. And this oil flavor already, huh? Put it up. This is the chicken broth that the chicken steam inside. This is some of the chicken broth. I put some flour to make a thick to thicken the sauce. See? sugar a little bit maybe a two three tablespoon depends how much you want how sweet you want it sweet soy a little bit just so flavor regular soy In color. I don't like to use starch. The starch, so I'm not agree with everybody. So, flour is a starch by itself. So I don't use corn starch and all these things. I use flour and I let it boil. I let it thicken. Want a little more sugar? Soy, that should be right here.
This is my sauce. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. Goes right on top of the chicken. When you cut it up, it goes top of the chicken. And it plays in there clean. Okay guys, I'm back. So, take a view. This is the Chinese chicken. That's the egg fried rice. That's it, the vegetable fried rice. Cucumbers. This is the sauce to go with the chicken. So we come over here now and let me show you what we have in plate. One spoon. spoon. We have a little fried egg on the side, chicken, cucumbers. And over here we have deeper with the veggie. Egg fried rice, a piece of fried egg, cucumbers, and a little piece of chicken. She don't eat much. They don't eat chicken like that. So guys, they're gonna sample. They're gonna taste and let we see. So deeper, taste. Let me taste. Let me see how it tastes. Yummy! Yummy! Yeah, taste it. Take some more. properly mm -hmm. how it is Atash mm -hmm. different from the jasmine right mm -hmm. tastes good tastes, yeah. tastes like restaurant Chinese fried rice right jasmine different a little bit different a little different who likes right. jasmine we don't, we don't use MSG and we didn't put all those stuff inside tastes better it is better here, right? Okay, so guys, you hear that? You know, my kids eat more Chinese food than me, so they know. So, I just want to share that uh, today dinner with you. I hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed in the, the show. And um, let me know if there's anything I can... Um, recipe or anything I can tell you how to prepare the dish but I know if you if you see what I do you can do it and you can do it even better if you want in your own taste and your own way everybody cook different so once again please subscribe view like make a comment below hope you stay safe there are a lot of um, uh, this pandemic is raising again and a lot of people have gotten sick so you guys please be safe put wear your mask and um i will see you in the next video on the next adventure we did the disney video i didn't get to finish it at the end but i think my son did and um that's a little clip that we could do disney was packed so um once again i'll see you again in the next adventure in the next video we don't know what we're doing next before the week out, but again, peace, Mr. Chu out. We need to make a comment. Guys, 
I know I told you all I'm, I'm, I'm out. My wife just came in and she tell me something very interesting. She's helping Akash eating. So what do you think, Bill? I think it's better than any of the West Indian restaurants, for sure. So I nailed it. You nailed it, now, guys, I didn't cook. I didn't cook this kind of Chinese food in a while. I tell you. And I'm not saying that because you cooked it, but it's really, really good. Really I didn't good. cook like this in a while. I normally use jasmine rice and do American Chinese and other Chinese fried rice. But whoever asked my son in that note and said he want Guyana Chinese fried rice, will you have it today? I just taste it myself and trust me, I still have my touch. So enjoy it from my plate to yours. Peace out. Peace.